Hi, this is Jasmine from Sirens Idol, and I'm going to be doing a journal flip um, of one of my older journals. Now, I should preface this by saying that I tend to not work chronologically or laterally in my journals. Um, I might start a journal and decide at that point in time that I'm sort of done with it, and then move on to some other um, journal or some, something else that has caught my, my eye. Um, I might revisit the journal later on, and I finish pages at leisure that way. So this Moleskine journal is about, oh, I'm trying to think here, three years old, maybe? I think I began this in the fall, winter of 2009. So um, the beginning of the journal, middle, into the middle, is uh, older um, entries when I first really started getting into doing the whole art journaling thing. Um, and as the pages progress, you can actually see a change in, in aesthetic, a change in style, and I kind of like that. I kind of like that it's a history of my creative process. So without further ado, let's just kind of begin. Okay, so ooh, this is my first page. I wonder if I have this. I don't tend to um, date my work, which I really have a bad habit of doing. I really should date it because then I'll have a better idea of like where I was and when. And this is me and I was beginning, just beginning to really like get into drawing faces. I've always been attracted to drawing faces, um, which is why you see a lot of that in my journaling. Um, it's just something that I, I kind of like, and um, journaling is about doing what you like, so that's what I, I would do. Um, this was done in pencil, and I might actually kind of do a different version of this, but I do like this. This used to be an icon of mine. And the great thing about this is that there's a lot of things that you might have been more free to try and, and just you weren't in a routine yet. And I like looking at some of my earlier work because there might be something that just attracts my attention and, oh, I haven't done that in a while. And it just kind of refreshes my interest in it. A lot of these are magazine cutouts and painting over. Now this um, this has a lot of sentimental meaning to me because this really had more to do with my daughter at the time uh, my daughter was about seven I think seven or eight years old um, and she used to love just little cartoon characters and Angelina Ballerina who was a little mouse and um, I kind of drew these for her These are um, papers that I actually made, and it's so funny because I still have these papers lying around. I haven't really used them, or I use them occasionally, but I loved making them. Some more sketching. This, the pages fell out, and so I used packing tape to kind of put it back in. This is my own photography, and what I do because it's a it's it's a journal. Um, the dollar store has packets of um, photo paper, and I think I want to say it's about ten to a pack or something. It, they're four by fives, and so um, I tend to shrink down my pictures so that two can fit on a four by five, and it makes like a perfect. Um, size for a journal and I definitely love using my photography in my journaling. I haven't done it enough lately. This is um, I just discovered, uh, just bought watercolor crayons um, and I was just experimenting with it and then this is all done in Sharpie. Now this here is something that um, you might have seen and I actually have it at, on canvas and in my daughter's room. But um, I drew this as a sketch 
and then I uh, scanned it in, printed it out, and then I used that, paste that on uh, my journal, and then painted over it. Now this is one of the pages that I actually came back to and reworked. Originally um, it was a, a rough pencil sketch on this background and I just wasn't happy with it and I kind of walked away from it. Um, I came back to it about a year ago and I just chose to finish it. And that's what it looks like. Same thing with this one. It was um, beginnings of something that I never finished and I returned to it and finished that. Same thing with this one here. I um, I began, it, it was just a, a simple pencil sketch, nothing behind. And this one, um, which I didn't mention about the other one. Hold on. This other one here. Ah, oh, where'd it go? Oh, here we go. This one here was actually inspired by Adriana, um, I think it's Almazara. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but she's a great artist. Um, she has her own um, Ning and her own YouTube channel, and she has this fantastic style. Um, it's like big girl eye art it's, or big eye girl art, that type of thing, um, and I love it. And so this is sort of my version of that, which also shows you that you can be inspired by somebody and yet keep true to who you are and what your style is. You don't have to look like someone else, but you can be inspired by them and still be unique to you. Now this one, oops, wrong way. I keep on going upside down here. Ah, uh, where, where, where am I? There we go, we did this one, this one. Now this one happens to be inspired by <clears throat> Connie from Dirty Footprint Studio. And the reason why is because if you ever look at her um, paintings, they're very bright and very colorful. She is not afraid to use color. Um, and her strokes are very bold. And she has a lot of very bold, dark strokes that define her paintings. And this is sort of my answer to that. So I was inspired to do this based on that. And this is a lot of doodling um, based on henna design. And I just kind of lose my track here. Now this one is really cool because um, originally I had put a question out to um, Twitter and my my question was, how do I create like a nebula, um, star field type background? And Les Herger had answered my tweet and gave me a couple of suggestions and I took them. And this is what I created out of it. And then I painted this girl on top, collaged her, I collaged her face because I tend to do that a lot. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do it on another piece of paper, cut it out, and collage it on, and then paint over it. And actually I made a... Uh, um, an actual art, an actual like art piece out of this. Okay, and this is just more sketching, more sketching, sketch, sketch, sketch. I was um, working on a background for this, and this one you might recognize as being the. Um, the girl that I paint, I, I did her face with Crayola crayons. Everything was done with craft paint. Oh, this one I love. I did this last fall, and she's just so sparkly. I love sparkles. Definitely. She is blinging out, man. It's just fantastic. Just like an autumn goddess type thing. And that's about it. As you can see, I still have quite a ways to go, and I probably will revisit this at some point in time. Um, but yeah, so there's one journal.